I solved the bacteria bloom. Here's what I did. Let's get into it. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another video by Serif. In the previous video, I was sharing about the bacteria bloom that I was facing and I just want to give a quick update on that. And as I mentioned, I think the main cause of the bacterial bloom is the die-off of the cyano that I was facing a few weeks ago. That was the only thing that was dying off in my tank and I do believe that that eventually caused a cloudiness in my water due to the nutrient spike. With that being said, as you can see, the tank is much clearer. Actually, after I filmed the previous video, it got much worse over the days and I was starting to get worried. But thankfully and fortunately, the tank eventually figured itself out. So this is what tank actually looked like when it was more or less at its peak of cloudiness. I know it's not picking it up very well in this video, but it was rather milky and hazy. But as you can see, thankfully, the tank looks much better now. The cloudiness have cleared itself. The big question to ask is, what did I do? Honestly, to tell the truth, I did not do much. I just stuck to my normal maintenance routine which includes changing the filter floors and a water change that I do every week. And eventually over a span of 3 days, the water began to clear up to the point where it is now almost crystal clear. Surprisingly, I did not have to feed less or increase any of my filtration. I just stuck to what I have been doing as if my tank had no cloudy water. And this brings me to a lesson that I have learned personally which is to not panic let the tank run its course. If you believe in your filtration system and the chemistry of the water, the tank will eventually solve some of the problems. It was also important to me to not tinker and try different things such as adding a carbon block, adding carbon to the tank or using a UV sterilizer. Don't get me wrong, all these are useful and has its place, but for me when I decided to set up this tank, I did not want to use any carbon or UV sterilizer. I must admit that it went against my nature because at times I wanted to do a large 50% water change but I decided not to do that and to refrain from that and let the tank run its course. Of course I'm not saying in all scenarios you should not do anything and just let your tank be but I'm saying that there must be a balance between patience and action. So another issue that I've been facing over the past few weeks which I'm trying to solve is related to my clam. So if you have watched my previous videos, you will have seen that I have gotten the clam. And for most of the videos, you will see that the clam is either semi-open or rather not open completely. And the main reason for that is not water chemistry, but it's actually because of my on mower blenny. As much as I love my blenny, it has been picking on the clam. I don't mean that the blenny is actually picking at the mantle of the clam, but rather just the shell of the clam. And when it does that, the clam will decide to close up and it will remain shut throughout the day. So usually when the light first turns on, the clam is fully open, it stays open till my blenny decides that it's time to come and disturb it. I've thought of a few ways to solve this and the first is to of course remove the lawn mower blenny, which I'm not really willing to do so because it has really established itself in the tank and it's enjoying life. Another way is to move the clam either to a different spot or maybe to a different tank. However, the clam has found its spot on the rock and its foot has been attached to the rock. So I do not want to move it or to shift it because I don't want it to have to reaccustom to a new location with or even a different parameter. At this stage on a scale of 1 to 10 or maybe a 7 in terms of worry for my clam. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I can do or what I should do or if you have experienced anything like this, please do let me know. Other than that, the tank is doing great and everything has been healthy. I've also realized that over the weeks I've spent quite a lot of time with my reef tank but I realized the main reason for that is just because I enjoy it. I really do and that is the most important thing in this hobby, don't you think? So with that, I think I will wrap up my video right here. Thank you for watching and if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing to this channel. So stay safe everyone, love your tank, till next time, see ya!